I don't have a proper bench when I sit here and record. I'm actually sitting on an old safe and now my rear, it is sore. Oy, oy, oy. I did say I would try to get a second video out to you guys today and well, it's not all brand new information because I'm recording it on Wednesday and I plan to have it out on Friday. If you see this video coming out, um, keep a heads out for a, a live coming out if you are curious about what I'm doing at the convention. But for now, we are celebrating surviving 32 weeks of Droughtlander, no new episodes. Oh my goodness. Luckily, as I said before, I'm pretty sure we are past the halfway mark. We should be expecting to get it, hopefully, late summer, early fall. Let's all hope. Uh, and I do have some news on that. Well, not news, but we're not the only ones are concerned. However, I will be starting us out with some throwback behind the scenes because that's just how we roll around here now. <laughs> And so we have the lovely Sophie Skelton and the incomparable Dave Barry. Outlander Online and Sophie Skelton Universe shared this throwback to Dave and Sophie on the set of Outlander. We can tell. <laughs> and, uh, they're looking rather, I don't know, Sophie looks a little pleased for at herself. I don't know. Did she, did she, she took that cookie away from Caesar in the other picture. I bet you, I bet you that's what happened. <laughs> anyway, this is from their archive for Outlander Online there always fantastic at sharing a throwback. I love to share them with you. Let's see what else I got. Well, another Sophie image, of course. This is Balf Nation, and uh, it says two others, but we're going to go with Balf Nation because they are always very good for Katrina pictures. And this is a fun picture. I'm going to put this on the thumbnail. Uh, episode 510 was was an emotional one for Brie and Claire. Yes, absolutely. But Katrina and Sophie looked like they enjoyed working together behind the scenes. And quite frankly, they always do. I swear, these, these folks behind the scenes always look like they're at least enjoying each other's company, helping each other get through the difficult days, I'm sure. And so this is a great picture. I've stated before that this, this channel, it should be a community. Uh, for those of us who are desperate fans of, of these shows that I chat about. Uh, when it comes to Outlander, we are waiting desperately for this new B-sides of season seven, and we are not alone in our determination to not only make it and hopefully find out when it's coming, but to encourage stars to tell us when it will be coming out. You would think a royal decree would help. Okay, it's not a decree, but it's a question made by somebody who has a lot more power in the world than I do. Uh, this is shared by Tosh. It says, I guess we keep waiting hashtag Outlander. What is the message from the doors of Buckingham Palace? And this is, of course, a joke, but the king wishes to advise that there is no updated information regarding the Outlander season seven premiere date. The king thanks you for your continued interest in this matter. Yeah, so it's not a decree or anything. It's actually just a... Just Hold your horses, guys. It'll come when it comes. We got no news. So as I was headed down the road towards Indianapolis, I got a message on Patreon from uh, Brittany McClawlin. McClawlin? I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> and she wanted to see if I'd heard the news. And I said, what news? And uh, she says, November. And I quickly check Instagram and uh, X, uh, Twitter and find out, yes, we do have a release date for the B-sides of Season 7 for Outlander. And that is November, not November what day we don't know but November uh, this has given us some mixed reactions online including we will be so excited and so happy to get it in November to I'm canceling stars until November regardless of how you react to this news this is the information we have and uh, yeah we'll be waiting to November I'm back to the rest of the videos Bye. Continuing with the silliness, though, we're going to go with a post by Outlander Online. Actually, we're going to go to the website for this one. As Nell Hudson shares some new shoots because, uh, and I feel perfectly justified on adding Nell on here on a regular basis because we know we're going to be getting her on the B-sides of Season 7. Now, I wanted to try to find a way to put this whole video on my screen, but it doesn't actually fit on my computer screen. So this is the best I can do for you right now. Again, you will have the link below if you want to watch the full video, but uh, let's see what Larry has to say. Now, the, uh, the tag below is that she liked the makeup so much she didn't want to take it off when she got home. There she goes. At Sam C Makeup, got home and don't want to take this makeup off. She apparently really enjoys the look, so more power to her. And she did share some more pictures here of the photo shoot. I like that dress and background. You know, I don't always like the uh, stringy look of hair on some people, but she pulls it off very nicely. And that is some heavy pink makeup, but again, she pulls it off very nicely with, I think her complexion most likely helps bring it out. 
and the last two. How how is it they put these stars in like jeans and a tank top and they look flawless? It's crazy. I wear jeans and a tank top and you believe with every right that I just came out of the garden. <laughs> I'm always a mess. Let's see if this video plays a little better. This is off of Nell Hudson's Instagram shared by Outlander Online. And that link led me to this. Uh, you can see here getting all fancied up, put just in the right place. And that's why they don't look messy when they're on a screen or a shoot because they got three, four, five different people making sure everything is just in the right place. And I do not have a crew of people doing that for me. <laughs> this is as good as it gets. I don't know about the red shoes. Uh, the platform shoes I know are, are a thing. And I know that in the 90s, when I was a kid, I had some platform shoes too, but they were boots. I, I was never a high heel person. I would fall flat on my face in those feet, in those shoes, it, probably in those feet as well. <laughs> okay, uh, moving on here. I have a very, 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 very tiny, 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 tiny clip from Sophie here. But I tell you, it leads into the Sam one and you're going to enjoy that quite a bit. So it's like a half a second of Sophie sitting on a net over an ocean, giving us the thumbs up. She's enjoying herself. Uh, love dorkling. Uh, <laughs> she accepts her inner dork. That's one of the reasons I think I really like Sophie. She's very down to earth. And um, she accepts all the parts of her from the beautiful and the graceful to the absolutely silly. So uh, nice. Thank you for sharing that, Sophie. And I hope you have fun dorkling. <laughs> We are not dorkling. Oh my goodness gracious, Garsh. Uh, this is a thirst trap by every kind of definition. And absolutely, yes, it will be the other part of my thumbnail. Uh, because I love you guys. And I want you to know that there's something fun to look at in here. A little bit of information too, but something fun to look at. Uh, this is shared by Marie Ann M. And her question was about this picture. This pic was posted on March 2020 on Sam's IG. Didn't know Sam at the time or Outlander. Does anyone know the story behind it and where it was taken? I actually did know by 2020. We've got someone who answered this question. SF Amautaho. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but I'm going to go with that. He posted this after a workout when he was in COVID lockdown in Oahu, Hawaii in early 2020. He was there for two months with a female companion. And yep, it broke the internet for obvious reasons. And I will, like I said, there's a reason why I'm going to make this part of my thumbnail. He's pretty. Feel free to pause at this time. It's cool. Now that you're done looking at Sam, I wanted to show you a little Charles. Actually, I really wanted you to is playing because he's a fantastic guitarist really really good i will include the link below for this and i probably will even mark charles guitar you've got to go listen to it i can't share it on here i don't want to get dinged for copyright on it but it is really really good uh go listen to it right now and come back and watch the rest of the video later if you want <laughs> It's fun to watch him play because you can tell he really enjoys it. And uh, My first husband was a guitarist, and you could tell when he was really getting into the music. While I don't care for my ex-husband anymore, <laughs> for many reasons, uh, I do still love to see a musician who enjoys their work, the, the passion they put into it. It's, it's really anybody who is into any kind of arts, acting, uh, uh, drawing, sculpting, music, singing... The, when you can really, really tell when they are absolutely into what they are doing, it, it's a beautiful feeling to share with them. Now, as per usual, at the very end, I have a little bit more Sam. And a part of this is actually about his My Peak Challenge. He's got some stuff coming up, and he's really proud of it, so I'm going to share it with you. All right, now, so my first couple of things here are all about his My Peak Challenge of uh, Sam Hewn. Peakers, the gala is almost here. Join us next month in Edinburgh, Scotland at the MPC 2024 Gala. Only a few tickets are left. We can't wait to sweat, play, dine, dance, and celebrate with you all. This is for your My Peakers uh, that will hopefully be in the area because otherwise it's going to be really hard to be there. Uh, April 27th, 28th there. Once a year they get together. They do a little bit of service. They actually celebrate the fact that they've been doing service uh, from what I understand. And they get a Sam awareness time and an exercise time with them. It's awesome. Sam awareness time like we're not aware of him. But he's right there and uh, yep, fully kilted. Have a whole gala. Lots of ladies there. Wonder where all the guys are. Um, Anyway, <laughs> he shared a second post with the same thing. A lot of the same clips. Um, Again, peakers, time to peak or is it time to pack? Celebrate the MPC 2024 gala experience with us in the stunning city of Edinburgh. Did I say Edinburgh? Edinburgh. 
at <laughs> I know. This April 27th, 28th, join me at our Peter community for a wild Scottish weekend of celebration, wellness, and camaraderie. Link in story. And while those are fun, let's face it, it's not the Sam you really want. So of course I have one more. Worry's making us a drink, and I do believe it's one that we haven't gotten yet. I, I sure hope I'm not repeating myself. We'll find out when I watch it. This is Sassanac Classics, and we're making a Sassanac Old Fashioned. That's not because I'm old fashioned, but this drink is really, truly delicious. One of my favorites, especially in an evening. So let's make this Sassanac old fashioned. For that, you're gonna need two ounces of Sassanac whiskey, two dashes of Angostura bitters, quarter ounce of simple syrup. I hope you have some of that. It's really simple to make, hence the name. And of course, a little citrus twist. Let's make this delicious drink. First, we need some ice. Don't fill it all the way up. Then, we're gonna need two ounces of Sassanac whiskey. Pour that in. Didn't even spill it. Angostura bitters. Well done. Is this Angostura? I'm glad this is Angostura. Two ounces, two dashes of Angostura bitters. Two of those. Don't worry if a bit more goes in. I really like bitters. And quarter ounce of your simple syrup. That. Fill it up, a bit more ice. The more ice you have, the less dilution. I don't know how that works, but apparently it's true. So quite a lot of ice in here, here we go. And you want to stir this for, I don't know, 10 seconds. I would say until your hand gets really cold, but my hand is already really cold. <laughs> we froze this tumbler. Anyway, here we go. So that's about 10 seconds. That's about right. Then you can need your Lobo glass. You're going to need one beautifully large ice cube. And then we're gonna strain. Oh, it smells so good. You're old fashioned into this glass like that. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, traditionally you can serve this with a cherry, it's very old fashioned, or some lemon or even orange. I'm gonna do both because, hey, we're crazy like that. I'm gonna get all those oils in there and then maybe spread that around the top. And we're gonna serve that there. There you go, there is your Sassanac. Old fashioned cheers, smells delicious. Allergy to citrus, so I can't do the orange. I'd have to do the cherry, but that does look kind of good. I, I'm this close to getting one of these uh, Sassanac whiskey, most likely origin. I still haven't decided, but I'm gonna make like one or two of these drinks and hopefully try them out and let you know how they taste. So you can be mad at me for having one, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. That is all I have for this video. It is kind of a bonus video, even though it's our 32 week count official video, because I wasn't sure if I'd get to it. I'm actually recording it on Wednesday and hoping that you are watching it on Friday. If you are, fantastic. My plans work like 9% of the time, so I'll be very excited. Uh, some news and information about the channel. I am heading to the convention at Indiana Con in uh, Indianapolis tomorrow. While you're watching this, I'm there. So if you comment on this video and I don't respond right away, it is literally because I'm just, I'm busy. If I do comment right away, um, probably things aren't going as well as I'd hoped. So. <laughs> Wish me luck and a lack of comments till the evening, most likely. Announcement number two, we have internet again. I know, I'm so excited. So starting next week, you should be without any trouble getting the regular two videos a week for Outlander, unless crazy things happen. And I'm hoping that this will be a sustainable thing to be able to do while my daughter's home from school during the summer. I've got some plans to keep her busy and possibly activities that will give me some time to myself and her some activities with friends. Let's all cross our fingers. I'm planning ahead and doing my best for myself, the channel, you, all of us. Now, until I have a new video next week, don't forget to check out for any live streams I may have at the convention. Again, there will not be any Outlander people there that I'm aware of. However, if you happen to like more than Outlanders, there's going to be, you know what? Let me show you who's going to be there. Okay, this is the lineup for Indiana Comic Con. We have Hayden Christian, Steve from Blue's Clues. We've got George Takei. We've got some Walking Dead folks. If you are a Stranger Things fan, ton of people there. The Incredible Hulk, uh, Terminator 2, 
Three's bad guy. Uh, Arthur Darville from Doctor Who, which is somebody I plan to see. A couple of people from Sapper, Sapper Neutral, Supernatural, Corey Feldman, uh, some actors from The Flash. Uh, there's also going to be the Bionic Woman and the Six Million Dollar Man. We've got somebody from Psych. He's also been on Supernatural. Edward James Almost. John Cleese, Felicia Day, we've got the uh, C-3PO actor, plus Michael Roker, who is, again, Walking Dead, plus Guardians of the Galaxy, Will Wheaton, another one I'm definitely going to go meet up with, uh, Emmanuel Vaguera, and I always get her name wrong, but she is the Morgan from uh, Lost Girls. Uh, Richard Karn from uh, Tool Time. We've got, or is it Tool Time? I don't know. You know, the Tim Allen show. John Schreider from Dukes of Hazard. There are just quite a few people that, quite frankly, I'm very excited to see. So I am sorry that there are not Outlander people, but there are so many people. So wish me luck. I could use all the positive vibes and good mojo I can as I get out there and maybe a little time to talk to a couple of the celebrities. If I time it just right when they don't have any alliance every now and then I can squeeze in a hi, you're fabulous. Thank you for all of your work and then move on without bugging them too much. So until I go live or have new information, uh, please check out any of the other videos here. We've got Star Trek, we've got Outlander, we've got various other shows on occasion, including uh, Doctor Who, Supernatural, The Winchesters. Yeah, just, I'm working on more of a library, but right now, you know, you know what you're going to get here. Outlander, Star Trek. If you want to check out any of those other videos, please do so. Before I go, I do want to thank my patrons and my members. You guys have been fantastic. So appreciate that extra bit of support. Patrons, don't forget to check out and see when you can chat next if you'd like to. If you like this content and you haven't done it already, shame on you. I'm very disappointed. Bad bad fan. Uh, please subscribe. Don't forget to give the video a like if you like the format, which assumingly you would do if you subscribe. Always comment below, feel free to. I do try to encourage us to be a community. We love new information and new uh, news about stuff that maybe I haven't heard or seen yet. I don't mind corrections. Trust me, I'm aware that I'm pronouncing a lot of things wrong, but feel free to correct me. I do try to get better as I go. Not always successful, but I try. And if you just haven't got enough Outlander content, once check out some Star Trek or any other stuff I've made, uh, please do so at the end of the video and I will see you there.